What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a core workout with a small stability ball. We'll start off here just coming into a comfortable seated position on our mat. We'll do a little bit of breathing just like normal. Um, you can sit cross-legged, legs out in front of you, whatever makes you feel comfortable and bring your hands right to the tops of your legs. We'll start here by taking a nice big inhale. I want you to lift the shoulders so they come up towards the ears. We'll exhale, drop the shoulders down and back. Let all of that air go. Good, let's do three more like that. Big inhale. We'll exhale, take things down and back. Good, big inhale. And we'll exhale, drop things down and back. And we'll go one more big inhale. We exhale, take things down and back. Good, from here, let's swing things around. Legs are gonna go all the way out in front of you. You can go a little wider than the hips, maybe about mat's distance apart. We'll flex the feet so you're pulling toes back to nose and then take the ball between the heels of your hands. We're gonna push that ball forward so it's right there in front of us, a little bit of gentle pressure on the ball. Take a big inhale. I want you to draw belly button to spine on your exhale. Roll yourself back. You're only gonna roll so far as you can maintain control. So we're not gonna roll all the way back. So we're just gonna roll right up from here. Big inhale. And then exhale, we draw belly button to spine. You pull hips to ribs, you bring yourself right back up. Good, let's do that four more times. Exhale, rolling back. Good. This is gonna be three. This is two. And last one. Good, we're gonna keep moving like that. This time you roll down, you're gonna lift that ball up overhead. Good, we'll exhale, draw ourselves back in. You lower that ball in front of your chest. So maybe you can get the ball all the way up overhead. My shoulders are a little bit funky, so it doesn't quite, doesn't quite let me go up overhead, but if yours does, that's awesome, and you go ahead and go for it. As the arms come up overhead, things are going to get a lot more shaky on your core. So if you get to a point you need to bend your knees, so you can plant your feet down on the mat. I want you to go there. Legs out in front of you is going to be a little bit more tricky. Never so tricky, you can't do it. Good. Let's do two more, then we can hold back. This is two. This will be one. We're going to lift that ball up overhead. You draw belly button to spine, tuck under a little bit more. For six counts, we're going to lower and lift that ball. Six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Good, you're gonna lift yourself all the way back up. You'll inhale to rotate over towards your left. We exhale, roll ourselves back. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, you roll it right back up. Inhale at the top, exhale, roll it back. So now we think about pulling from the bottom edge of your rib cage on your left side to the top of your hip on the right side. Good, next time you roll back, you're gonna lift those arms up overhead. We'll lower the arms as we lift back up. We'll do four more, then we hold back. This will be two. And last one. Good, oh, last one I forgot. We're gonna hold it back lower and lift for six. For five. This is four. Three. Two. And one, I want you to take that ball back up in front of your chest. We'll do 10 pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. We come all the way back up to center. We'll inhale to rotate over towards the right. Even my hip flexors, you're not liking this. My hamstrings are super sore from Monday's workout. So if you're in the same boat, maybe pause a day before you do this one. We'll rotate over towards the right. Inhale up at the top. Exhale. We draw the belly button in. We think about rolling back through the right side of the body and then we exhale, take it right back up. Good. Ooh. <laughs> Whoops. As you roll back, obviously keep hanging on to that ball. I don't know what happened there. Four more. Three. 
two. Last one, we roll it back, we lift and lower, four, five. This is four, three, two, and last one. You reach that ball out in front of you, we pulse. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We take it all the way up. Okay, take a second. If your hip flexors feel kind of tight from just keeping your legs out in front of you, give them a little, a little press with the finger. Now we're gonna bend our knees. You'll plant your feet down onto your mat. We're gonna take that ball. You'll bring it right about to where your bra strap hits on your back, and then you'll lay yourself down onto your mat. From here, your forearms can come down by your side just so you have a little bit of extra support. We're gonna lift the knees so they come up above the hips. And right here, we're gonna move from the hip. We'll take an inhale. You lower the left toes down towards your mat. You exhale, lift that left knee right back up. Inhale, we tap the right toes down. Exhale, we lift up. Good, now if you'd like to take your hands away from the mat, you sure can. It's gonna get a little bit harder to stabilize, so you just have to focus on pulling belly button in, pulling your hips to your ribs, and then nod your chin to your chest. Your, pointed, um, your gaze is pointed forward right to the tops of your legs. Good, let's do two more each side. This is two. <sighs> And two, we'll go one, and one. Good, and then hold right here. We're just gonna exhale, extend those legs up. Inhale, bend the knees, and then tap the toes down. Lift the toes up, extend, bend. We tap and lift. Your hands can come down by your sides. Your forearms can come back behind you, remember that. Let's do three more. <laughs> so we one, extend and bend. We tap and lift. Good, hold right here. We take a big exhale. You're gonna shoot the left leg up, right leg forward. Good, we take it back to center. We go inhale, extend both legs. So right leg up, left leg forward. Exhale, we take it back in. Inhale, you find length. Exhale, you squeeze in. Let's do two more each side. Two and two. We go for one and one. Good. Good, take those knees back up above your hips. Hold it right there. I want you to take an inhale, tilt the knees over towards the left. Exhale, we take it back up to center. Inhale, we come over to the right. Exhale, we take it back up to center. Four more times each side. Good, maybe if you're feeling good, you add in that little leg extension as the knees are tilted over. Maybe, it's an option, you don't have to do it. It's a little bit harder on the obliques, right? So the option's there if you choose to take it. That's three each side. This is gonna be two. Two, forward's a little bit much. This will be our last one. And last one. Good, from here, feet come down onto your mat. You'll go about hips distance apart. We're gonna press back onto that ball. So let all your body weight go into that ball. Hands come behind the head. You open your elbows out nice and wide. We're gonna inhale, spread over that ball. Exhale, we crunch and lift. Inhale, we take it back, little back extension. Exhale, we crunch and lift, good. Now, if you'd like to take your hands out by your sides instead, that's fine by me. That feels a little bit more comfortable for you. Go ahead and take it there. Both options are good options. Sometimes hands behind the head is just a little tricky for some of us, especially if you have a hard time with overhead movement on your shoulders. Go ahead and just take your hands out by your hips. That's a cue for me to take. Let's do three more, then we'll hold up. Two. Last one. You're going to hold right there tiny pulses for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, 
two, one. You're gonna shoot your right leg out in front of you. Right hand's gonna come down to your mat, left hand behind the head. We exhale, pull knee to elbow. Inhale, reach it out. We do six more, six. We'll go five, four, three, two, and last one. Good, we take it through center, switch it over so you can take that left forearm right out beside you. Right hand behind the head. We exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, release for six more. Six, five, breathe when you can. Four, three, two, and last one. Good, your foot comes down. Oh my God, your forearms can come down. Grab onto that ball, take it out from underneath you. I'm not sure why I thought a core workout was a really good idea today, but we're just doing it, okay? We're doing it. Sometimes we just need a dedicated core workout, you know, when you wanna feel the burn in your abs. Okay, from here, we're laying all the way down onto our mat. I want you to take that ball so it comes right in between your ankles. Now, remember all that stuff we did with the ring on Monday? We're gonna do some similar stuff right here, just like, you know, pulses on the ball, all that good stuff. Hands come right down by your sides. Your legs are up at 90. So right up above your hips, I want you to um, slightly externally rotate. So your toes are out, your heels are in. You're going to give me 10 pulses on the ball. You go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. You lower your legs to 45, whatever that looks like for you. 10 pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. When we do that two more times, lift to 90, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, when we lower to 45 for 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. One more time. Lift the legs to 90, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one. We lower to 45. We go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Take things in. You can hug your knees into your chest. You can rock a little bit from side to side. Take a breath. Okay. You're doing good. We've got it under control. From here, leg or knees come back up above the hips. You're gonna turn toes out, heels in. Like you're trying to connect your heels. You open your el or not your elbows, your knees out just a little bit. So we're in like a, a frog position. From here, we'll start with the hands and the upper body down on the mat. We'll take an inhale, pull those knees in past your hip creases. We exhale, push the feet out, extend the knees, squeeze through the inner thighs. Inhale, we pull in. Exhale, we'll press out. Good, four more. Three. Two. Last one. Good, you're gonna pull those knees in. I want you to reach your hands so they come up over your shoulders. So you can pull the knees right up above the hips. We're gonna exhale, crunch and reach. Dive those hands through your legs. As you inhale, you're gonna push the legs forward. You open the arms back. We exhale, push those arms through your legs. You can pull the knees past the hips. Keep toes out, heels in. <sighs> Keep squeezing onto that ball so we can't open the knees up so much that that ball comes out. <sighs> Four more. Four. <sighs> this is three. Two, last one. Now we're gonna push the legs out. I want you to take your hands outside of your hips. We're start, gonna start to take little pulses in the upper body, sorry. Sometimes I can't form a full sentence. We go 10 pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good, we lower all the way down. You're gonna take a big exhale, lift the hips up, push the legs back overhead. This is always where my, my mic gets smashed up into my body, but I think we're okay. Hold right there if you can tap the toes down to the mat. Awesome, 
Awesome. From here, I want you to take your hands so they come to the small of your back fingertips, point up. We take a big exhale. You lift the legs so they come up above the hips. You'll inhale, drop the legs right back down. Keep some pressure onto that ball. Good, we go four more. Four. We'll go three. This is two. And last one. Good. With that last one, you can lower your legs behind you. Bring the hands down. We're gonna articulate down through the spine inch by inch. Legs come all the way down. Arms are gonna reach up above the shoulders. We take a big exhale, nod the chin to the chest. We roll ourselves all the way up. Very good. Okay, from here, we're gonna keep on moving through things. I want you to bring yourself up into a tabletop position. Ooh. Ouch. <laughs> Out, out, out. Okay, that ball's gonna come right between your inner thighs. Hands come down to your mat, your knees are back. We've got the hips right on top of the knees, the shoulders right on top of the wrist. We'll tuck the toes under, you'll take a big exhale, squeeze onto that ball, scoop through the low abs, lift the knees off the mat. Inhale, take it back down. We lift, we lower. Good for four more. Lift, lower, we lift, and lower. Two, and one, good, okay. We're gonna build off of that. So when you're ready to keep on moving, we take a big exhale. You scoop through your low abs, you hover the knees off of the mat. You're gonna give me 10 pulses on that ball. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, squeeze that ball, you're gonna press the hips up. Pull back into that bare plank. Good, we do that for six, five, for four, for three, for two, and last one. Good, we come back through to that bare plank. You take a nice deep breath. Left hand stays down on the mat. We're gonna take that right hand. You tap it back to the left knee, bring it down. We do that for six, five. Your hips are gonna rotate, that's okay. Four, for three, two, and one. Same thing on the other side. Right hand stays down, left hand's gonna lift. We tap and pull back, tap and pull back just for four, for three, two, and last one. That is perfect. Keep squeezing onto that ball. You're gonna lift the right foot and tap it down. Lift and lower. We lift and lower just for four, three, two, and one. Tuck those right toes under. We lift and lower, left lift and lower we lift and lower just for four for three two and one good we take things down drop the knees down press your hips back reach your arms long take a nice deep breath okay maybe come off off come off of your wrist for a second or more than a second if you need to um, we're gonna do one more little plank push right here, okay? So if at any point you need to get out of this, you go ahead and get out of it. If it gets a little bit too wristy for you, you just readjust, okay? You're gonna be okay, I promise you. Okay, from here we're gonna reset. We'll take the ball so it comes right in between our ankles. So you can set it up there right now. Hands come down to your mat. We're gonna tuck the toes under so we're in a plank. And then I want you to rotate so that your right leg is on top of the left. Okay, we'll take a big exhale. You're gonna lift your hips up like you're in a down dog. We inhale, take it right back down. We'll swap that ball over so the right foot is down. Left foot is going to lift. We exhale, pike the hips. We inhale, take it down. Switch the ball. Good, we'll do three more each side. You're finding that power to lift 
oh my gosh, <laughs> through the obliques, also through your low abs. So you think about pulling belly button in, whoo, pulling hips to ribs. I think this is two. And two, keep some pressure on that ball. This will be our last one. And last one. Good, with that last one, everything comes down. You can release the ball for a second, sit hips to heels. Take a deep breath, reach the arms nice and long in front of you. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing really good. From here, we've got another little, little thing to do down on the mat. I was just giving you a little bit of a break with some plank stuff. It's not really a break, I know that. You know that, okay, but it's okay. We're gonna make it through, I promise we will. All right, from here, what we are going to do is roll ourselves down onto our mat. Okay, so you take an extra second if you need it. Everything's gonna come down. We'll take the ball so it comes right in between our inner thighs, and then you'll lift your knees up so they come right up above your hips. Okay, from here, arms are gonna reach up above the shoulders. We'll start off taking the 100 for this next series. Big exhale, we crunch up through the head, neck, and shoulders. You'll start to pump hands outside of the hips. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five, 10. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. That's 20. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five for 30. If you want to extend those legs out, exhale, two, three, four, five. You sure can. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. That's 50. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. That's 60. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. 70. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. 80. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Last five, four, three, two, one. Good, hold up in that crunch. Crunch up a little bit higher. Now give me pulses on that ball. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Can you lower your legs a little bit more? 10 pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. You lower a little bit more. We go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. You hug everything in. Let your head drop down. Hug your knees into your chest. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath. Okay. You're doing good. I promise you are. You really, really are. Okay. From here, we've got a couple more crunches to go, and then we get to stretch. Then you're done with me. You're right there, okay? Knees are gonna stay up above the hips. I want you to tilt your knees a little bit over towards the right. We'll reach the arms so they come up above the shoulders. You'll take a big exhale. We're gonna crunch up through the upper body as we pull the knees in towards the shoulder. We'll inhale, release. You're gonna extend the legs, extend the arms. We'll switch through center. We exhale, crunch up on the opposite side, pulling knees to shoulder. We're reaching the arms to the outside of your hip. Inhale, we come through center. Exhale, we come to the other side. Let's do four more each side. I like this one. Four. Four. We'll go three. And three. Let's go two. And two. Last one on this side. You're going to hold right there. You give me tiny pulses in your upper body. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1. Can you tell I love core workouts? Come through center. Crunch up on the other side. You go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one. Good. Take everything down. You're going to transfer that ball so it comes right in between your ankles. Your arms are going to reach up above your shoulders. Now we'll inhale, lower the legs. We're going to exhale, lift the legs, transfer that ball into your hands. Lower, lift, transfer the ball back into your ankles. Lower, lift back into the hands. Now, if you'd like to add in a crunch right there as you pass the ball from your hands to your ankles, maybe stay up in that crunch. You sure can. That's an option if you want to do it. Let's do four more from the hands to the feet. Feet back to the hands. That's four. 
This will be three. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. This is gonna be two. And last one. Good. You can take everything in, hug your knees into your chest. You can toss that ball off to the side. We'll just take a big hug on those knees. Rock your hips a little bit from side to side. Take a nice deep breath. And then from here, we're just gonna take a couple of stretches. You made it all the way to the end. Now, since we focused a lot on the front side of our body, we're gonna take some stretches just to counteract that. So I want you to roll yourself all the way over so that you come belly down onto your mat. We'll go legs uh, nice and long behind you. Forearms are gonna come down to your mat. Fingertips point forward, elbows tuck into your ribs. We take an exhale to press the chest away from our mat. You'll feel a nice release through your abdominal wall. We inhale, pull things right back down. Let's do that twice more. Press up, lower down. Good, we press up, we lower down. And then you're gonna press yourself all the way up through to a child's pose. Ah. Good, press those hands down into your mat. Take a nice deep breath. Good, and then when you're ready, you're gonna bring yourself all the way up. You can just take a seat on your mat. Good news is you made it all the way to the end. If you want a longer stretch, I will go ahead and link my yoga playlist up in the cards. Remember, you guys are awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to, and I will see you in our next video. I just get resist, oh. You got me thinking love.